he's real. If you say his name, or even think it, he'll come for you. I get offered a lot of horror films, I'm, I, I, and I don't want to boast about that, but uh, but a lot of them are formulaic and, and you know, uh, oh, we're a bunch of naked teenagers having sex in the woods, and here comes Doug Jones to kill all of us one at a time. I get offered that a lot. This one had, had so much psychological layers to it, so many layers to it, that uh, that it, uh, it, it, it interested me. It kept, it kept my mind active while reading it. Um, and hopefully it will keep the audience's mind active while watching it uh, with, the, with just the psychological torment that these kids are going through um, and their relationships and how they, how they just disintegrate in front of you on film. Um, with, that, with this and with the backstory of the Bye Bye Man, that just really interested me to his backstory and wanting to, uh, you know, this, 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 this movie uh, touches on his backstory which sounds tragic and, and sympathetic. And I, if I'm going to play the bad guy in a movie, uh, I, I really appreciate playing one that has a sympathetic origin or, or that, I, that I can feel something for. Uh, because if, if I can connect with him, uh, then I can play him well, you know? And uh, even though he's doing dastardly horrible things, uh, like, I don't think anybody wakes up in the morning and says, I'm gonna be evil today. I think uh, e even evil, characters are just trying to, uh, to find a way to survive like anybody else. They're making bad choices along the way, yes. The Bye Bye Man makes some terrible choices, but, um, but, I, but I, I, I think he's, he's trying to make up for, you know, some, some horrible history in his own life, and, and uh, yeah, he, he uh, yeah. And I think anybody can relate to, you know, bad things happening to good people, and how do we, how do we come out of that, and and so a movie like this can actually be empowering and not only entertaining and terrifying, but it can be empowering too. Well, house off campus with John Henry and a live-in girlfriend. Should we do it? <laughs> yeah. You ready for this? What the hell is that? What is it? I play the Bye Bye Man, uh, and he is, um, as exposed later in the story, uh, he was different than other kids. He was made fun of. It's a it's a very classic bullying uh, scenario, and um, but tragic because uh, you know he was tortured and um, and so kind of his spirit lives on, um, and. We're following uh, some college kids today, and uh, uh, as as the character played by uh, Douglas Smith finds etched in the bottom of a of a of a nightstand drawer, "Don't say it, don't think it, don't say it, don't think it." The bye bye man. He said it out loud, so oops, he let the cat out of the bag. So the cat would be me as the bye bye man showing up. So basically, if you say the bye bye man's name, he shows up. Um, but unlike other horror films where he shows up and does this. Yank, yank, yank. Uh, he shows up and does this. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> right, right, there's a difference. He gets into your head, he gets into your psyche. And, um, and so, uh, so that, this poor college kid um, starts seeing things that aren't there and, and, and not trusting his own, his own eyes, not trusting his own instincts. And, and then his girlfriend, played by uh, uh, Cressida Bonus, and, and their, their friend, all these roommates, uh, also uh, uh, played by uh, Lucien Laviscount, the three of them really are the, are the crux of the story and the relationship between the three of them and how it, get, how it gets uh, uh, polluted by the Bye Bye Man's influence. Don't say it, don't think it. It could spread everywhere. I'm not gonna let it happen. Please. Director Stacy Title is a gift to actors. Uh, she is, she so understands our process. And of course, she, uh, uh, being married to the lovely John Penner, who also is a writer, uh, actor himself, and uh, they, they're a very collaborative team together. Um, and I, I just, uh, Stacy, though, she will come to you, and, and when she's face to face with you, you feel something. Uh, all she has, to, she can give me two words on set, and I'll, and I'll know her intention and, and what the emotion that, that she's trying to convey to me. 
uh, to get out. Uh, the fact that we were brought in to this lovely Cleveland uh, location a week early is a luxury on film shoots. They wanted that week ahead of time so we could rehearse, so we could get into our environment and get into our characters, um, not only with makeup tests and fittings and things like that too, but, uh, but to start living and breathing these characters, not just, not just knowing them, but living and breathing them. And Stacy is a director who, who inspires living and breathing, not just acting. We have to help them! No, no, it's a trick! Bye-bye, man.